Kia ora koutou, my name's Matt Short, I'm the catchment management lead for biosecurity at the Hawke's Bay Regional Council and today I'm here to talk about alligator weed. So we very recently found an infestation of alligator weed at Lake Hartuma in central Hawke's Bay, so that's where we are right now. Alligator weed is a seriously invasive pest plant and it is a severe threat to agriculture, biodiversity and native ecosystems. If we let this get much worse than it is, we could see lakes like Lake Hartuma become impenetrable masses of alligator weed. It grows incredibly quickly. It can double in size in two months. Fragments of this weed will break off and wherever they go, they will re-sprout. And rafts of alligator weed will be moved in waterways and wherever they land, they'll just re-sprout again and become whole new colonies of the plant. So alligator weed doesn't set seed in New Zealand but it's very easily moved around by people. People are its main method of transportation. This could be digging, you know, earthworks. It could be on boats. It could be in hunting or fishing equipment. Basically, any stem fragment has the potential to be a new plant. So any way that that stem fragment could move around presents a real risk. So alligator weed has an exceptionally deep root system. Uh, roots can go into soil up to two meters deep. These little nodes are places where they'll try and re-root from. If they break off, you can see this one, because it's been lying on the ground, has already started growing roots as well. So alligator weed will outcompete pasture, it will outcompete crops, and it's toxic to stock. Stock can eat it, but it causes liver and kidney damage, and if an animal eats enough of it, it can potentially cause blindness. Because it spreads so easily, there's every chance that if it's found in a cropping situation that conventional methods of tilling the land will turn one small fragment into a multitude of plants. So it's very important that we don't let it get into our prime cropping areas. Another thing that alligator weed can do if it's found in a waterway is it can impede native fish spawning. It can colonise areas of riverbank or stream bank where our native fish will go up to breed and it makes it just a little bit more difficult for them to get in there to lay their eggs. If you think you've seen some alligator weeds, give us a ring at 06 835 9200 and ask for the biosecurity team or biosecurity staffer or email us at alligatorweeds at hbrc.govt.nz.